A few things I want to disclose before the video begins in case they were not clear enough in the video. You must know how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube before attempting this puzzle, as this is essentially just a shape modded 3x3. Three three. Axis Cube, the tutorial is finally here. So, first we need to go over some vocabulary. There are two different types of corner pieces. This corner piece, which just looks like a triangle, and this corner piece, which is an actual corner. If you don't know already, the axis cube is just a 3x3 shape mod. So it's a 3x3, three three. let's twist it around a little bit. So this edge piece right here is actually the center. You can see that right here. And it's the same way that a center on a 3x3 three three is the center of the layer. So we have this corner piece and this corner piece. We also have two different types of edges, which are these edge pieces and these type of edge pieces. To make things simple, we're going to call it flat corner, flat edge, corner corner, edge edge, and then of course, center piece. You need to know how to solve a three by three. If you do not know how to solve a three by three already, I will link a tutorial right here and also one in the description. Super important that you learn how to solve a three by three. Now, we are going to start off a scramble. So I will do a random hand scramble right now. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to locate a white and green centerpiece. So from here, we need to understand that there are four edge pieces. So the same way that we make a cross on a three by three, we now need to find these four edge pieces to match with this centerpiece right here. And that is going to be a green and orange edge edge. So we'll put this in right now. You will find that you have to try a few different ways to get the edge piece to align with the centerpiece as well as this centerpiece right here due to the fact that this is a center sensitive puzzle. So next we want to find a white and orange piece and put it right here. So we have that in, however it's backwards so we're just going to fix that real quick. Next, we need to find a flat edge right here, which is white, the white flat edge, which is already in place for us, but it's the wrong way. So we were going to fix it like so. And we also got this edge piece uh, the right way already. So now we need to find a flat green edge to put right here. And that is right here. Insert this green piece, but it's already flipped the wrong way. so. We need to do it the same way that we would flip a edge on a 3x3. Three three. Now if you notice the center piece is wrong, so we're actually going to have to turn it this way. Make sure that the white and green piece is right here when you're flipping edges, and use this center piece right here to turn. And then now we have a cross as well as a corner. So now we are going to do the second part of solving a 3x3, three three, which is F2L. So the edge piece that needs to go right here is a green and yellow edge, which is right here. When inserting an edge piece, make sure that this color matches this color. Just like you do on a three by three. So next up is finding this piece, which is already right here, but we're going to have to put it in in the right way. Then we need to find a flat red piece, a flat red edge to go right there, which is right there. So while we're at it, we might as well just fix this corner. And now we can insert this edge. When we're inserting this edge, make sure that the wider side of it is facing is facing the, the, the piece that you're about to put it into. So it can be turned in like this, just like you would on a regular three by three. So next we need to get this corner piece right here. Insert it like a regular three by three. Then we need to find a white and blue edge piece to go right here, which is right here. Remember this color must always match this color. 
Now, one last edge piece to insert. We need to put this piece right here. Make sure that the smaller edge of the flat facing edge is pointed towards where we're gonna put the corner in. Next is one of the hardest parts. It's the last layer of the axis cube. So for the sake of this tutorial, what I'm going to do is actually take this centerpiece off because it is not important at all. I don't even want you to be looking at it. The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna pick an edge piece. We're gonna pick this edge piece and we're gonna align it where it belongs. And as you can see, it's actually flipped. So it's not, in, it's not facing up. That's the equivalent of this piece not being white side up. So we're gonna look around. Now we're gonna test this edge piece. We're going to put it next to, put this edge piece next to the center. Make sure that you don't put it right here or right here. Make sure that the edge piece is next to the center. And as you can see, this edge is flipped the right way, but this one isn't. So now we're going to test out the blue edge piece. It appears that that's not that flipped the right way, but this blue and red piece happens to be flipped the right way. So we can tell that this is now a cross case. So now with the correct edges in the back, we are going to do the same algorithm that we did on 3x3, which is... And we notice that these two are already in the right spot, but we need to switch these two around. The solved edge on the back and on the right. Now this is just like the corners case on the 3x3, where we have the corner in the right spot, but these three are not in the right spot. Now all that's left is to correct the corners like you do on a three by three. So now we're going to take a look at this, the centerpiece right here. There are two possibilities for what this can look like. It can either be completely, oops, it can either be completely solved or there's another case. To solve this case, all you need to do are two simple algorithms, which is two J perms. There's the first J-perm, now we will do the second J-perm. And like that, you have solved the axis cube. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. And for a shout out, how many axis cubes do I own? Here's a shout out from an earlier video. As always, remember to join the Patreon. There are courses available there, and I do exclusive giveaways on my Patreon as well. So if you want cubes or merch delivered to you for free, highly recommend joining the Patreon. Also, maybe check out another video. I know you enjoyed this one.